Welcome to Aerial Images Video Magazine. I'm Fred Johnson and I'll be your host. When the U.S. Navy's last operational P-5 Marlin seaplane landed at San Diego on 6 November 1967, it marked the end of the big flying boats. Naval Air Station North Island at San Diego held a boneyard of partially stripped Marlins while one squadron, VP-40, flew SP-5s on market time patrols near the Mekong Delta of South Vietnam. The seaplanes hunted for small boats ferrying supplies from North Vietnam to Viet Cong units in the south. Seaplane tender serviced the Marlins. The Navy photographed its North Island Marlin Boneyard in September 1968. These evocative images tell the tale of aging warplanes no longer of use to the service. Martin Marlin series began as a logical progression from the earlier PBM Mariner. The first example used a Mariner gull wing, the upper fuselage contours of a Mariner, and a new hull employing later water handling principles. The prototype flew on 30 May 1948 as the XP5M-1 with a conventional tail. Production models followed in 1951 with a raised cockpit, large radar in the nose, elongated nacelles for the R3350 engines, and the name Marlin. The next production Marlins were P5M-2s, essentially like those in the photos, with T-tails to avoid water spray and some changes to the bow. Look closely and you can see a couple of conventional tail older Marlins in the boneyard. Well over a hundred high-tailed P5M-2s were built up to 1960. In 1962, they were redesignated P-5B and SP-5B. That final operational Marlin was saved for preservation. As of this video, the only known P-5 Marlin in existence is displayed inside the National Naval Aviation Museum at Pensacola, Florida. Eighth Fighter Wing F-16 Fighting Falcons follow a pair of F-A-18s into the early morning sky at Kunsan Air Base, Republic of Korea on 2 November 2021. Enjoy the sights and sounds at the end of the runway.
U.S. Marine Corps F-A-18A Hornets with Marine Fighter Attack Squadron 112 fly from Marine Corps Air Station Iwakuni, Japan, 16 November 2021. These Marines are based out of Naval Air Station Joint Reserve Base Fort Worth, Texas. They are on a rotational unit deployment program at Iwakuni. We bought this Rode video mic years ago and stopped using it partly because other mics pack into a smaller space for travel and partly because the Rode mic uses a 9-volt battery that is less common, larger, and more expensive than a AA battery. But when one of our other mics broke recently, we tried the video mic again. This video shows the sound quality to be decent, and when we had a problem with the original shock mount, operator error, Rode customer service was really great. So if you have access to a Rode video mic, you may find it suits your needs well. It's good to have choices. Well, that wraps it up for Air Rail Images Video Magazine this time. The rest of the Air Rail Images Video Magazine issues are on the Air Rail Images channel.